Welcome to Tooltech Geek. These are 2D pliers with gears, which I'm going to explain a little bit the how and the why. Uh, but first, a little recap. A while ago, I started to look at how to make plier mechanisms using only two dimensional shapes. So, this is one example that is based on a planar hinge. So, you would have a say a circular feature and then you would take a grabber so to speak and this can be done in 2d and this can spin a certain angle and if you combine multiple of those you can create a mechanism now this is not very useful as this but if you add a rubber band can have something functional which sometimes I use to hold uh, something and to paint it for example so this is easy to 3D print but it could be made by other ways such as laser cut or similar 2D machining now something that is pretty fancy in some tools or EDC multi-tools is the use of gears so SOG uses gears a lot in their multi-tools and they provide this uh, compound leverage. It's very complex. They have kind of like five axes here, two for the gears and then three more. Very complex, but with the use of gears, you can do more things. So trying to figure out, can I do these two type of 2D pliers using gears? Because that could open some possibilities. So the thinking is you could have this type of mechanism, but you could add a basically teeth. And then if you have another one, you can combine them and the movement of this will be transmitted to this part through the gears so that's what I did here's a tiny example so basically I have those hinges and I add teeth which produce transmission of movement and for this to be useful you need to add some rubber bands so here is an example where I add the springiness with the rubber bands it kind of works but these are not synchronized, so sometimes one moves and the other doesn't. It's not great. So something I thought is, well, why don't you just do one half instead of the whole pliers? And that will be this case here. And this works pretty well. Now there is an issue which this may snap depending on how you built it. And that's something uh, that happened also when I was doing these type of pliers. If you do that in a certain ways, it can snap. But if you if you have like a different angle of these uh, these joints, it makes it more robust. So probably a future version should have those uh, factors included. And this is something that could be uh, used for like a little tool for educational purposes or other things. Now, this uh, springs open when you release it, but you could put the rubber band in a different way such that it springs closed. So that's something I found uh, later. So that way, it's more like a, a clamp, if you wish. So it could be a clamp, but moreover, uh, this also I found a kind of a chance by tinkering you could have a toggle depending on how this uh, rubber band is located it can be closed or open that's because uh, this is basically one way or the other way from uh, that hinge this was not designed on purpose that way but I kind of discovered that you can make a toggle so 
this is very fun to experiment with. Uh, can it be useful for anything? I don't know yet. But my thinking is with gears, you could start using gear ratios and create very simple tools where you have a, a mechanical advantage. So if this gear will be bigger than this, you could have more movement here, less movement here and more force. In a way, you could accomplish what SOG does basically having mechanical advantage, but in a simpler way, in just a 2D uh, situation, which is easy to uh, design, build. You could make very tiny tools, maybe for EDC, that are very simple, without too many like pivots and stuff, because it's all 2D. Will that be practical? I, know, I don't know, I have no idea. I'm just experimenting, prototyping, but maybe this can inspire somebody make a better version or maybe I'll try it myself in the future. In any case, uh, I hope you enjoy these explorations of ideas, inventions, whatnot. And uh, thank you for watching.